Good morning and welcome to Enlightened Hearts. I'm Naoma and I'll be a reader today. Um, I kind of wanted to look into this goddess energy that I've been going through and channeling since Tuesday. Um, Lilith has been really strong. There's been a lot of death in my house this week. Um, but Sophia keeps coming out, bringing light into the dark situations. We lost one of our guinea pigs last night. Um, my German Shepherd, Kazi, passed away on Tuesday. Uh, you know, and like kind of in the shadow of the 11th anniversary of my dad and my, um, my pit bull kilo so it's been a rough week I haven't really wanted to come on and do a reading but Lilith and Sophia have been so strong and I've been getting messages after messages after messages now my notebook I have some notes but I've been um check my community page because I haven't been doing readings this week but I've been um, posting pretty regularly the poems that I've been posting for the last couple of days are kind of like those messages have been incorporated into poetry sometimes I feel like sometimes I feel like there can be um, A lot of wisdom gained if you just sit and read what I've written. Many of you are being watched at this time. Um, got the watchers with transpersonal number sixty. You could be seeing. Um, Sixes, six, 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 um, watchers, transpersonal. There are some beings that are sitting on the other side of the 3D realm that have been watching you and guiding you and leading you gently in the direction on which you need to go. So I want to channel into the energies of Lilith and Sophia, see why they're here right now, what, what they want the collective to know. So let's see. They are being told that they're here observing the collective. Number 36, lost in space, needing direction. Yeah, they're watching the collective. All right, we have the crossing with initiation. Whale song resonating. Ego sublimation with the vanishing mirror and horseman, herald of change. The watchers lost in space, let's see. Ooh, I just started to get shaky. There's something coming. All right. The watchers. That came off the bottom of the deck.
somebody has recognized that um, people in situations are um, mirror reflections of themselves that they've learned that okay right Lilith is a mirror reflection of Sophia Sophia is wisdom and enlightenment or Lilith is that the dark energy of that she's the one that encourages you to deep into the shadows and do the work the mother of demons she is the shadow queen ego sublimation meaning direction People in situations are just a reflection of yourself. Anything that you find yourself having a hard time with, anything you find yourself irritated by, those are the things that you need to write down and figure out what went wrong in your life to cause that to be an issue for you. All right. Tell me about Whale Song. Thank you. Queen of Wands. Resonating. Somebody could be a fire sign. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Heavy on the Leo. High Leo, actually. High Leo, feminine. Crossing. Hermit initiation vanishing mirror magician and horse number please knight of wands I'm also seeing I don't know if you guys can see it uh, lions at the top of this mountain and now that it's reflecting in the camera I'm seeing a crocodile with its mouth open catching the Sun crocodiles catch the Sun through their mouth I've seen them do it that's interesting do alligators do that too do they sunbathe with their mouths open Hmm. And my tablet is still not on the table. Fucking kids. Watchers, trans. The image keeps shifting in my mind's eye. I'm lost in space, needing direction. All right, so Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands. The Magician and the Hermit. All right, so we've got this high Leo feminine energy. Makes sense because Lilith and Sophia have been out. They're both fiery. Oh, that's interesting. Knights are transitory, and I got the Knight of Wands for horsemen, Herald of Change. Horses represent freedom. One horse 
is looking to the past and one horse is looking to the future. Are you stuck? You are stuck with the hermit, the crossing, initiation. Um, some of the collective is in need of, or they're in this energy right now. They're being, oh, okay, needing direction, transpersonal. Okay, so there's initiation getting ready to happen. You are currently doing the shadow work. You accepted the call of Lilith and you're working on yourself in the shadows, figuring out the traumas, all the negative things that are going wrong in your life and you're trying to turn it around. Oh, and you're being initiated. You're getting ready to move out of hermit energy into magician energy because you did the work. Ego sublimation. When something sublimates, it like when ice sublimates, like if you put an ice tray in the freezer, um, if you don't use the ice, it starts to shrink. And it's weird, right? Because how in the hell does that happen? It's in the freezer, it should be in stasis, but actually it's like evaporating off as gas because it's so cold. So it's sublimating. Your ego is sublimating. Your mirror is sublimating. Vanishing mirror. You're beginning to integrate your shadow with your light. As the magician, you're, you're learning to use it. So you've done the work, you're doing the work, there's an initiation that's getting ready to happen, but with the Knight of Wands and the Horsemen, um, one's looking ahead and one's looking back. needing direction tell me about the queen of wands three of pentacles interesting I'm going to throw that back in the deck um all right, tell me about the Queen of Wands, please. Thank you. Eight of Pentacles. Yep, you've done the work. What's resonating? Doing the work. You may be resonating with other tarot readers here on YouTube. My right arm just lit up with goosebumps. Um, give me one more please for Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Cups, doing the work is a labor of love. Queen of Wands is a labor of love. Shadow work, labor of, there's something here about labor of love. Ace of Cups, this is about pouring into yourself. I know what this is, I cannot figure out how to get it out of my mouth. <sighs> Shadow work's not easy. There's people like me out there that make it look like a cakewalk. I didn't really start doing my shadow work until after I had my stroke. And I've come a long way since then. I've learned um, how to set healthy boundaries and how to stick to those boundaries, protect my space. Um, And I'm hearing somebody say, well, it's not that fucking easy. You're right, it's not that easy. 
But learning how to recognize it, understanding that every situation that you've ever put yourself into, every choice that you've ever made, either came from ego-driven, fear-based practices, which is the indoctrin indoctrination of every human being on the earth right now. Um, we're all traumatized to the point that, um, and all of us, our parents included, traumatized to the point that we think that this is normal. Um, it's not. You have to... You have to recognize your shadow and those around you. That's the biggest part of getting through the healing. Being able to look at the people who are projecting their own fears and anxieties and recognizing that from yourself so that you can heal it. I don't know if she watches my channel, but one of the managers at work, she, um, she's a little OCD and she's a little panicky and she projects her anxiety and fears when she very passive aggressive I can always tell when she's having a bad day because she complains about the husky hair blowing out into the aisle way from the salon um I don't let it bother me anymore because I used to do that I would nitpick the small stuff it's all small stuff don't sweat the small stuff. It's all small stuff. Um, I was reminded yesterday, I think it was last night actually, about the formula. And if you don't know who Daryl Anka is, go look up him and Bashar. They have a wonderful formula for moving through life. Um, follow your highest passion with no expectation for the outcome, understanding that I used to think that the most dangerous person was the one who walked through life going, eh, it is what it is. They're not dangerous. That's the most powerful person. The most powerful person can walk through life and recognize that it is what it is because whatever happens to us is ultimately happening to us for our greatest good. Um, lessons even the bad stuff is lessons and the bad stuff's exciting too bad stuff's exciting too all right so tell me doing the shadow works look she's she's got a laptop she's got a laptop Oh, geez, why did I want to put that Eight of Pentacles right on top of initiation? Um, oh, I see. Sophia and Lilith, are uh, their energies are strong. They were strong this week, still very strong this morning. Um, the Four of Cups was backwards in my deck. Stagnation. Tell me about that four of cups. Ooh, the higher font reverse. I don't read reversals. <sighs> Somebody in the collective is unimpressed with. I'm hearing the new age journey. Also, somebody, there's two things. Somebody is, look at this. You've got all this information coming from the Hierophant. You're getting all these downloads. You're pouring into yourself. You're doing the work. But you're unimpressed with the information that you're getting. Like, 
here's a cup of wisdom and you're like, eh, fuck that. So you might be on this part of your spiritual journey where you're not wanting to share with people. I don't think that you've quite grasped yet that um, the ethereal manifests because of our mental health. Understanding mental health is so important on this path. Tell me about the magician, please. Eight of Swords. So, in the past, you felt constrained. You may very well still be feeling this way. Constrained and stuck. Unable to escape situation that you're in. Tell me more about this. Thank you. Justice. Six of Wands. Somebody may... This is only for a couple of people. Somebody may be feeling like... You're in the middle of a court case right now. Your hands are tied. You don't know what to do. You will be victorious. There will be a good judgment. You're not stuck. There's something that you... You have the power to alchemize this thing. Um, you have some information that can change the course of what else yeah you've got some information that could change the course of this um <coughs> four of swords king of wands mm, a lot of fire out here <laughs> Something here about freedom of will, four of swords. <sighs> Initiation, what? Herald of change, needing direction. All right, so whatever this thing is that you feel trapped by, when it's over, when it's over, you're being called to do spirit a spiritual bath. Um, again, I'm seeing the bathtub filled with warm water. There's rose petals in the water, so that probably means something to somebody. Reminds me of the Four of Swords from the Muse Tarot. Um, and it'll put you in a position where you'll have control of your free will, which you always had control of your free will to begin with. The Eight of Swords, she can just back right up to that sword and cut the ropes. No big deal. Um, yeah. And as a magician, like you're maturing into this magician, you have all the tools that you need to alchemize this four cups and this eight of swords. You have all the tools in order to alchemize it. Journaling. Recognizing that everything in your physical world is just a reflection of your internal world. All right, tell me about the Knight of Wands. Nine of Swords. What? 
what is going on with collective today this is why lilith is here lilith is wanting you guys to really get deep into the shadow work ten of wands it's almost over nine of swords ten of wands almost over <sighs> She's carrying the sticks. Traditionally in tarot, this card, she's carrying a bundle of sticks in order to go and build her house. Um, Nine of Wands is about putting up boundaries. She's building a fence. Now she's using the wands to build her house. Um... All your defenses are up. Nine of Swords. Some kind of anxiety keeping you up at night. This is hardcore serious stuff. This has to go back to whatever this justice needs to be called on. Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords. Yeah, this is a very, very tough, tough situation. It's almost over. It's almost over. You have um, angels and guardians in the etheric realm that are watching you go through this because you need to be initiated. Like, this is your initiation. The shadow work's not hard. You just have to recognize the mirror, the mirror effect. Once you can get out of your own head... Then everything is cake, I'm hearing. All right, uh, let's see. Yep, two of cups, two of wands. Three of wands. Two of swords, two, 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 maybe a number that you're seeing all the time in the moon. It's all illusion. Um, illusory obstacles. Every single obstacle that you think that is ahead of you is just a fucking illusion. You've got the two of swords here. Your crossroads, energy, a decision needs to be made. Two of wands. I'm going to say that what is your decision? Three of wands. Two and the three. Make plans. Make plans. Get your affairs in order. You're balancing out your energies. Initiation. Two of Swords. Something, something incredible is getting ready to happen <coughs> to you. Something, something, something incredible is getting ready to happen. I'm going to pull a star seed. You're a badass being full of life, love, and possibilities. And through this deck, may you find a path to your best self. Well, if that doesn't sum up, two, 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 right here. Three of wands. Boom. All right, we're going to switch decks. 29, 11 on the clock. All right, spirit, what's getting ready to happen with the collective? Let's give them some advice in this reading. Don't sweat the small stuff. It's all small stuff. Baby steps. Action. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. Uh, 
The shadow work's not hard, but it feels very intimidating. When I was recognizing all my trauma and seeing it manifest in my partner, um, it was kind of scary and it made me cry. Um, that sounds cliche as shit, but I really did. I laid in my bed for two weeks after having the stroke. Um, Anubis came. Anubis came to me and I saw um, one of my past lives in Egypt and it was at that point that I got drugged literally into the underworld and had to really take a close look at everything there was um, a couple situations that I had forgotten about I had um, memory blocked it. It was so traumatic. Um, I spent years trying to mask that, um, by more sex, by more alcohol, by marrying a man that I loved and having kids with him, but I wasn't ultimately satisfied. He couldn't hold a job. He was more worried about his band than his family. And he's deeply hurt and unhealed still to this day. We've been separated for 20 years. Well, we've been married for 20 years. We've been separated for 18. Star Brothers, Horus Energy, Protection, Loyalty, Safety, Trust. So Anubis, Horus. Lilith, Sophia the dark and the light. These energies are coming out like Sophia is breaking through the darkness to shed light on the situation. She's, you know, wisdom, wisdom and light. Um, Lilith. Lilith is bringing your shadow to the forefront of the situation. Forge, don't follow. Pave a new path. Be the leader you wish you had. The Great Severing. Mars energy. Okay, <laughs> Mars and Leo. The Great Severing. Anger, conflict, and softening to love. Um, Forge, don't follow. Be the leader you wish you had. You could be the leader in your, your own life. Remember, we are not here to save anybody but our own self. This is a journey of self. Yes, there is public service included in that, but the you can't help others until you help yourself first. So you have to do all of this healing here before you can go help other people. And ultimately, your testimony is the greatest healing that you could ever offer somebody because you share a perspective that nobody else has. Thirty-three twenty on the clock. All right, one more card. Do I want to pull? No, I'm gonna pull from here. All right, one more card for the collective. Yeah, find it. You know, find a path to your best self. Forge, don't follow. Who gives a shit what Joe Schmo is doing next door? What are you doing? Whatever this anxiety and worry is, I feel it's a legal situation. Um, might not be. Take it how it resonates. Um, yeah. Six of Earth Guardians. Stargate, two of portals. So, these energies of heavy darkness and then extreme light making you feel like you're bipolar and that you have lost your um, mind. 
because one minute you're all morose and angry and ready to kill everybody in the room. They're going to stick around for a while. They're going to be persistent. Until you can find a way to let the light integrate with the dark. This is all about reciprocity, so being able to balance the light and the dark in order to bring ultimate balance here. <sighs> Learning how to lost in space, Stargate, 37 is 9, 9-9 nine, nine maybe of importance to you. Also have 369 out here on the table. 369 is, um, the universe is beautiful. Everything is numbers, even music is math. Thirty six is nine. Three six nine. I don't know that song. Three six nine. I'm sorry. I don't know the rhyme. I don't know the rhyme. <coughs> so yeah, these energies of dark and light are going to be persistent. They're going to cause you to think that you're losing your fucking mind until you learn how to put them together and integrate them. Use your shadow for the ultimate light in your life. Use your shadow to illuminate. Use your shadow for your illumination. That's the message. All right, I love you guys, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.